Hello and welcome Taurus. This is your March 2023 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. Now, please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now, Taurians, what we will do here is we will divide your reading into three areas because it is much easier than to convey things and also for your soul to understand it. So what we will do is we will look at the overall energy for the month of March 2023 for the sign of Taurus before we then look into your emotional core. Emotional core is about whether or not there's love coming in, whether within the love that is there um, needs to be tweaked or maybe there's healing coming, maybe things need to go, that sort of stuff. Before we then lastly look at opportunities. Now opportunities for the most part will be about what, was, what sustains you financially. Please remember that anything financial is not a, or money is not a spiritual currency. So it is also about how do I feel about things and how do you feel about things, right? But we will look at uh, opportunities for the month of March 2023 for the sign of Taurus. With no further ado, um, we're going to have a look at your overall energy for the month ahead. And what you can expect is something Taurians sometimes detest, <laughs> which is change. The energy that you have is the planet Uranus. It's always a funny thing to pronounce. I always get it wrong. Always sounds very rude when I say it. Uranus, right? <laughs> and that planet is the, um, the, the, the bringer of sudden unexpected change. So... The overall energy for the month of March is to not fight change. Is to understand change is the it may, change is very likely if you look at it logically. The only constant in the universe seems to be change, and Taurians sometimes, well, for the most part, actually, you do not really like change because you like to be structured, and anything you don't know what's coming, you can't structure well. Um, but You've been through many changes in your lifetime, in your lifetime, and you're still here. So, your overall energy is quite clear, Torians. Don't be annoyed by things just because they're changing. Roll with the punches, if that makes sense, and you will be just fine. Okay. So, and then next, let's have a look at your um, emotional core. Let's see what we got for you. You have rebirth. With regards to your emotional core, I don't see you needing a lot of healing, which means this month, March 2023, for the signs of Taurus. While it always makes sense to acknowledge when there are things still sitting inside you that don't work, you are at a rebirth stage, which means you have made a lot of progress. And while you may not be 100% you know, back to your former strengths, um, you have made a lot of progress. How about you pat yourself on the back and tell you how awesome you are? Really, really important, Torians, to, to allow yourself to be proud of yourself. Really, really important. But you are at a rebirth stage with regards to your emotional core, right? So you've been through the ringer and now is the time to bounce back and understand that you have made a lot of progress. So lastly... We are looking at your um, opportunities and it's quite interesting because you have two energies. Well, they're not really two energies and yet they are. So you have, you have strength and you have dignified for your opportunities. Number one, at this point in time, if there are changes, it might be too early now this month to do something that is totally alien to you, right? The reason why I'm saying this is because obviously your overall energy is change, which would actually mean and denote, yeah, do something else. It's just when it comes to opportunities, I don't quite feel that for you. Um, because you have strengths and because Taurus by default, Taurus by default is a sign that, that knows what you have achieved and has issues with change by default, at least this month, that's what I'm getting for you, is to go for 
what you do best, what you know well, and where your strength lies. So should you have decided, fuck it, I'm going to do something completely new, that's fine. As long as you are focusing on your strengths and not on your worries. Because you have dignified, dignified also as a term. The most important thing is not whether or not you get a promotion uh, or whether or not you are being seen anywhere, uh, if that makes sense. The, the most important thing is that you, that you are dignified in the sense that, you know, the moment people make you feel like you're a bit stupid or you make mistakes and then you blame yourself for it, that's the last thing you need this month. So pay attention to whoever offers you opportunities. How do they really speak to you? Right? Do you feel it is safe for me to be myself because we're all flawed right? or not? Okay, so that's all I got for Toreans. This was your um, general reading for the month of March 2023. You are watching Thomas's Tower readings. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Toreans, thank you so much for being here. Really um, enjoy uh, having you around and thanks for sharing your time with me. And I see you all next month. Bye-bye.